all right guys welcome back so in the last video we learned how to animate this ball and it's looking pretty good but there is a problem if you have already noticed is that when it goes towards the top and when it goes towards the right hand side it disappears for a little bit but it's working perfectly when it goes towards the bottom and goes towards the left so what is this happening so over here you can see when we are bouncing off the ball we have put in a condition which says if the x coordinate of the ball is greater than the width only then make sure you bounce off the ball so why is this not working because we have a size of the ball so in pong.kv we have specified that the ball size is 50 by 50 pixels so the x coordinate of the ball only starts at the left hand side not at the right hand side so what is the problem so when our ball is disappearing it's only counting the left hand side of the ball so when the left hand side of the ball completely goes beyond the screen only then the ball disappears and similar thing is happening at the top so only when the y coordinate at the bottom disappears only then the ball is bounced off so we need to fix that so what we are going to do is we are going to subtract 50 pixels from the top because the height of the ball is 50 pixels and similarly for width we are going to subtract 50 and then we are going to run our program again and just to make sure it's running properly all right, so when our ball goes towards the right hand side, it should bounce off without disappearing. All right, so this is looking pretty good. So now let's work on creating our paddles for our game, ping pong game. And paddles are nothing but just rectangles on which this ball is going to bounce off. And if the ball misses those rectangles, then there'll be a point or a score will increase. So let's work on creating those paddles. So there'll be two paddles on the left hand side and we'll call that left paddle as player left and there'll be a paddle on the right hand side. We'll call that rectangle or the paddle as player right. So this paddle will be the in the center of this Y axis on the left hand side and the right hand side and the left player will be touching the left hand side of the window and the right player or the right paddle or the right rectangle will be touching the right hand side of this window and the left player will be the x coordinate will be root dot x that is we are taking the x axis and we are saying just stick to the left hand side and similarly on the right hand side what we are doing is we are telling it to take the width of our window and stay on the right hand side so we are going to be creating it the same we created our pong ball so if you want to just give it a shot without watching the rest of the video feel free so what we are going to do is just like we created our pong ball first we'll give it a class and we'll call that class as pong paddle and we are going to inherit from this widget and right now i'm just going to write pass and then just like we did with our pong ball we first create the rectangle so we'll go to our pong.kiwi and over here we have created a circle using our canvas and ellipse we need to create a pong paddle so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna kind of copy and paste this so let's copy and paste this make sure the indentations are correct and instead of pong ball i'm just gonna call it pong paddle and the size will be the x uh, will be just 25 pixels in width and the y will be 200 pixels in height so instead of the ellipse we want a rectangle so i'm just going to copy and paste this over here we have already created a rectangle before because in our game there's a rectangle in the center so you can take a little bit of reference from that and just like we did with our ball we'll give it a position of self dot pause and self dot size and then we need to actually add this pong paddle inside our pong game otherwise it's not gonna show so similarly just like we did with our pong ball we are gonna come over here and we're gonna write pong paddle and obviously there will be two paddles so we'll be creating two of these widgets of pong paddles and then we'll give it an id so we're just gonna call it player left and then we'll just give it an x coordinate so it's x will be root dot x so why is this root dot x so root basically means the parent window so or the parent widget so our parent widget is pong game it takes the whole width of our window so it's basically saying wherever the window starts that's where we want the x coordinate of this pong paddle to be and that is what this root dot x means so it takes the left hand side of the window and puts the x coordinate over there and then we want it to be in the center of the screen so we are going to write or at least the y coordinate should be in the center so we're going to write center y and then we are going to put as root that is we are similarly taking the window of our pong game and then what we are saying is we want it to be in the center so what this is going to do is it's going to take the y axis of the window and it's going to put it in the center but we have put the x coordinate on the left hand side that's why it'll be in the left hand side but in the center of our window so we're going to be doing the same thing because we are need to create two parallels so i'm just going to copy and paste this over here and instead of player left i'm going to put in a player right and instead of root dot x because 
Now we want it to be on the right hand side. So it doesn't root.x doesn't make any sense because we want it to be on the right hand side and we want to take the whole width of our window. So what we are going to do is we are going to put over here root dot instead of x we are going to put root dot width and then i'm just going to subtract the width of the paddle so how do you get the width of a paddle you just write self because we are referring to the pong paddle itself so i'm just going to write self dot width and this is the kind of the same concept that we covered in the starting of this video when our ball was disappearing from the screen on the right hand side we need to subtract the width otherwise this pong paddle is not gonna show up so now let's just run it and then see if it works so let's just see if everything is added properly obviously later we'll also be adding our pong paddle over here but for right now we'll just skip it and we'll cover that in the future videos so now let's just run it and see if it works we'll stop and rerun our program and as you can see there are portals over here so now that we have made these paddles these paddles are not yet moving so we need to make sure that on touching on the screen these paddles move both on our mobile phones like android and also on desktop so i'll cover that in the next video i'll see you over there